guys, I'm Artek from Goblin and today I will tell you everything about React Inheritance versus Composition. If you like the video, give us thumb up and subscribe the channel if you are new. Let's go! Now we will talk about inheritance in JavaScript. Because it's a lot of code, I created it on computer, I will not whiteboard that, and I will show you, we will go with the example, and I will explain you what is that and how we can use it. Let's go! Inheritance in JavaScript is an object-oriented programming concept that lets us inherit a parent's features from the child. For example, if we can create a parent like a vehicle with a property like every veh uh, vehicle has, let's say wheels, gearbox, engine and lights. Next we can create a car as a child of ve vehicle that inherits properties of vehicle. It means our car is a vehicle, so it will have wheels, lights, engine and gearbox from scratch. Of course, we can add more features. Let's see. Of course, we can add more features to our object. Let's see the code example. We have the function vehicle, which has like engine as throw, lights, gearbox, and wheels. Next, we have function car that will has own color and power, but still all of the stuff from vehicle. So we can do vehicle car call this. And next, we can create the new car that will be red and will have 1000 horsepowers. If we log our car, you can see all of the stuff in comment. It will be red, it will have steel engine, gearbox, it will have lights, power and wheels. About composition in JavaScript, I would like to show you the code as well. It will be much easier to explain all of the stuff instead of whiteboarding. So let's see the code. Actually, here in JavaScript, we have like the class related composition that is a bit more complicated, but can give us still the props of using inheritance. And we have the function composition. We will not go so deep into the general composition concept, but I will try to explain the concept as much as possible until we go into the React case. Here you can see like the simple comp function composition. So we have uh, two features, starting lights and starting engine. Mechanical vehicles can start lights and start an engine together composed into the mechanical features by object assigned. Next, we can create a car with its own car features, like opening windows, for example, but it still has all the mechanical features. To achieve that, we needed to compose car features with mechanical features and we return it in the cars object constructor. The result is the car has all of these features and can call of all of the methods. In the code example, we can see like if we will have this car, we can create it. Next, we can start engine, start lights and open windows. Inheritance in React is a very similar concept to the normal JavaScript. It works almost the same like with classes in JavaScript. And let's go into the code example. So I will explain you. For example, if we go with the class, there is a same inheritance as with the JavaScript classes. We can use just a simple extent to inherit methods from the parents component. If you will look on the code example, you can find like this class vehicle that has like own constructor, it's adding the color. And next we have like class car that extend vehicle and if we create like const red car, we have like new car that will be a red. And with the functional inheritance, you could do it by creating a new instance, but it's not a popular solution used in React. In the next steps, 
I will explain you why you shouldn't even bother so much with that topic. So, the component composition in the React is fantastic concept. Actually, it works very well. You can use a lot of nice features like props, children, props, or passing like components into components. And in the code example, I would like to show you simple example how it looks and how you can use it. Let's go. The component composition is one of the most essential patterns in a React related to the components model. It helps us to build even very, very complex functions by using many small parts. By using composition, we can implement other components into the component. For example, when we build the user profile, we can create the user profile component, put components user photo and use user description as child props. As you can see in the code example, we have the user profile that has props and renders prop children. If you would like to build the complete user profile, you can see we can put the user photo and user description inside the user profile. That helps us to build a really clear structure of the project. Before, actually, composition in JavaScript wasn't so popular topic, definitely not before ES6, yeah, and very often it was used inheritance to, to pass the part of the components or, or elements down. And actually, when React came to the game, Composition topic started to be really popular because it's fantastic in React. React is fun designed in very good way to use their composition. And for some developers, it started to be a bit confusing what they should use, like old inheritance, or maybe they should start going with the composition. It was a bit new and modern way of building applications, especially with this way. So a lot of people didn't know how to go with the development, even if they go with React. About that topic, actually, I can find few really important reasons why we can go with the composition over inheritance in React. One of them is something like, uh, it's a hint from the official documentation and guys from a React team uh, really recommends to use the composition, but let's go into why we sh really should go into that and how it works inside. So when we use the composition, actually we do not need to over nest components because we can create something like the wrapper and put the rest of the components as a child there. So our logic is not nested really, really inside that components. It means like sometimes even with the home page, we can create all of the components that will be like inside and inside the rest of the components and we have all the layout inside. Not always is the best way, but it's possible to have it like not very really less nested, but everything in the one level of that. The next one is it's safer because we do not uh, interact so much inside the components and the third kind of important, not for everybody because not everybody uses this concept, but kind of important uh, way how we can uh, implement the composition is we can use them really nice for creating the hots, like high order components. And with the composition, we have a lot of work like avoided. We can shorten time of development and reuse that components later. About high order components, I will create the or maybe Anna, the separated topic because it's huge topic and I think it's important if we build stuff with a React. Ha! Now I don't need to clean that. I can just add not. Voila! We have the new title. So why not composition over inheritance? Actually with a React, 
I have nothing in my mind when we shouldn't go with that. And as I told, even if you will go into the documentation, developers from React don't have idea why you should go with pure inheritance instead of uh, their composition. And I would say it's true. It's a React's point of view and they are right. Their composition is fantastic, still, sometimes you benefit from inheritance then there, but their way of thinking, I would say, is easy to use and I would stay with that. But what about pure JavaScript or maybe another frameworks? Well, let's stay maybe with pure JavaScript, not, not make a mess in head. So with the pure JavaScript, very often it's much easier to go with simple inheritance for many of not experienced developers will be much easier to go with that. And even if you would like to still have benefits from like composition and uh, get benefits from inheritance, like with this OOP, you can go with something like mix of composition with classes there you can use like this super class and subclass attributes. So in this way you will have both benefits and still you will not shake your head about, about the design patterns. So yeah, you can try it this way. I would say it can be profitable. Of course not if you, if you are right only in a real, but in, in pure JavaScript. And now I would like to say you congratulations. You know now how the composition works. You know at least basics about inheritance. You know how you can connect them, when, which, the composition, when it's better to go with inheritance. And at least now you will understand most of the stuff that you do in the React, it's early composition or sometimes it's like composition mixed with inheritance from classes because it's extending, it's uh, like, inheritance. I'm happy you know that now and I would like to invite you for going into more React in depth lessons from us. We create a lot of videos about React. You can visit our channel. If you like this video, give us thumb up, subscribe the channel if you are new, visit our social media and see you in the next React topics. And one more thing that is really important. We create the career and personal lessons for developers as well, where you will learn from me or my friend Anna how you can train your soft skills to be a better developer, to evolve your career. Check it as well. See you!